now to a shocking attack in the Bronx caught on camera. 37-year-old victim sucker punched, and rather than helping him, people passing by go through his pockets and rob him. The victim now fighting for his life in the hospital. Eyewitness News reporter Marcus Sola spoke to his family. Marcus live for us in the University Heights section. Marcus. Diana, Dave, that's the intersection where it happened, the crosswalk where the victim was first assaulted and then robbed. And because his identification was taken, it took police a full day to track down his family, who is now hoping that he can recover. It's horrible. It's all horrible, whether you're talking about the sucker punch that knocks a man unconscious or the fact that instead of helping bystanders rifle through his pockets and steal the victim's phone and debit card, or the fact that the man who threw the punch admires his handiwork, commemorating it with pictures, then claps hands in celebration and laughs while walking away. Horrible indeed, say the victim's relatives. It's not okay. It's, that's, that's not cool. He's just there laying down on the floor, you know, you could at least let him keep his things, you know, but... They, they robbed them. That's, that's not cool, man. The man who was knocked out and sent flying is 37-year-old Fernando Lovano. The father of three works for a company that manufactures medical supplies. Today, he is receiving urgent medical care in critical condition after his head slammed into the pavement. He got brain injuries. They don't know how he's going to react, but this, he got tools through his mouth right now. I see you waiting for him to see how he's going to recover. We just waiting. We, we God, he's going to get better. The incident happened early Monday morning on Aqueduct Avenue and Buchanan Place in University Heights. Lovano was on his way home and was punched, seemingly for no reason. Now police are asking the public's help in identifying any and all of the people in the surveillance video. While well, those who know the victim are praying for his recovery. He's a good dude. He works hard. He, and then he, oh, with his little money he makes, he take care of the kids out here, buy them candy, pizza. Now, off camera, some people in the neighborhood say this was not exactly a random act, that the two men were both arguing and intoxicated prior to this taking place. Regardless, it is now a criminal matter, and police are asking anyone with information to call Crime Stoppers.